back with another video. Uh, before we get started into this video, I just want to thank our sponsor. No, I'm kidding. I'll never get sponsored. But um, I did want to say something before we start the video. I'm sorry for the echo. I'm in a very echoey house. There's not one room with carpet in this whole entire house. It's my mom's house. But today, we are going to be doing a custom John Moxley figure. And it's going to be step by step. You're probably not going to be able to see my face because I have to show the trusty table right here. Okay, maybe you will. So, all you need is any John Moxley. Um, all we're going to be doing is a face scan and a custom jacket. Um, but you're going to take any John Moxley that you like the head and you don't really want to use the body. Or you, if you have any other fodder heads and you want to put it on the body. I have the Elite 63 um, Dean Ambrose right here. So, I'm going to just take the head off. And then I'm going to put it onto this network spotlight. Matt Hardy, I put this jacket on, but we're going to be doing this custom jacket later. So it's this most recent network spotlight, Matt Hardy, right before he left WWE. Um, it's the one that comes with the, um, the boat and the Vanguard one. So I'm just gonna be doing a simple head swap with these, and then I'm going to be writing mocks on the back of this just regular rubber vest, whatever. So all you need, is a John Moxley figure, this Matt Hardy figure. You can really use any figure that you want. Like you could do um, any figure that has like jeans or pants like this, because this is most like what he wears. So I'm just gonna be doing this. Um, and I don't like it with a painted on shirt. So I'm gonna just do this instead of torso cracking and doing different arms and stuff. So we're just gonna head swap it. Uh, I'm probably not gonna put this head scan on this figure because it's just gonna look weird. And the figure's kind of beaten up. There's paint apps on the hand. Yeah, it's a beat up figure. It's old. But, um, so we're just gonna be doing that head swap. And then the custom jacket. I've said that 10,000 times already. But again, all you need is John Moxley figure. Well, Dean Ambrose. Uh, whatever figure you would, you would want to use for this. A rubber jacket. You could use cloth. Well, no, I think you should use rubber. And a, um,. And one of these trusty hair dryers. Uh, you could use water and maybe a microwave. I don't know. I've never tried either of those. All I know how to do is this, so that's all we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to do a time lapse of me heating them up because it's going to take a couple minutes and I don't want you to just wait here. So let's jump right into the time lapse. Okay guys, so after a bunch of technical difficulties, we finally did it. So that's Matt Hardy's head. John Moxley's body. For the big reveal, just an FYI, already it's pretty bad. The reason I say that is because I'm probably going to have to put this neck peg onto this Matt Hardy. Because John has no neck at all. There's no neck on this figure. And it makes him look super short. Like, I definitely gotta switch out these pegs. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I've never done something like that before. But we're gonna have to try it because this is very unacceptable. Like, I cannot have that. I just don't know how to switch out the pegs, so it's gonna be... I might just have to leave it at this until I learn how to switch out the pegs because I don't know how to do torso cracks. I watched a YouTube video on how to do it, but I am not I do not feel comfortable wasting really good figures on it. But you know what, I might do it because I'm a savage. But we're still gonna do the custom jacket. So I'm gonna pull up what the mox symbol looks like and then if I have the right stuff I'll write it on here, so I'm gonna turn this off and then 
get what it looks like and then film me drawing it. Okay, guys, an update. Um, permanent marker does not work on these. And I don't have paint, so I have to use one of these chalk markers and hope for the best. So I think they're washable. It says window art, so it most likely is washable. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I mean, at least if I make a mistake, I can wash it away. And if I don't make a mistake, maybe if I use clear nail polish or something, I can just... I could just, um... I don't know. I could just put nail polish or something. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Shake well. Okay. Yeah, I'm terrible. Alright. Let's see here. Already a mistake. Oh, let me go wash it off. Gosh, how's it getting all over me? I'm very messy. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, this might be a little bit too wet. Oh, I do have a hair dryer right here, so. Funny how I'm so focused and so not artistic. This is terrible. I'm oh, gonna go wash that off. I made another mess. Let's try again. Whew. This is a lot harder than you guys think. Not bad. Not terrible, but not great. No, I don't think this stuff dries. That's the only thing, so. We'll have to see how this goes. I would use the hair dryer, but I do not want it to smear. 
So this is my John Moxley figure. Whether you like it or not. Oh, jeez, it's on the head. I don't have time to do anything else. I'm just going to wash it with my mouth. And see, this is why I don't play action figures with anybody. I mean, I don't have anyone to play it with, so don't worry. I do this all the time. Oh, wait, I didn't check to see if these were non-toxic. Well, who cares? I'll be fine. Yeah, definitely does not say if it's... Isn't that illegal to say to not say if it's toxic or not toxic? Eh, whatever. I've eaten <coughs> I've eaten ant poison before, and I lived. I didn't do it on purpose, so don't don't do that. But I've lived through many dangerous stunts. Okay. Anyways, that's my Moxley figure with the Moxley jacket. No. Um. I'm going to put some clear nail polish or something on it. I don't know. I'll put down in the comments what I did. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. And have a great, great rest of your day. God bless. Unlimited action. Out. Hey guys, it's me again. This is after reviewing my video. And now that I've been looking at this Moxley a lot more, it's not bad. I actually think it's really good. Earlier in the video when I said that it that it already looked pretty bad when I was just done with the head swap. Honestly, it really doesn't look bad. I was just... I don't know. I was just... It didn't come out perfect. But I think it's still very great. And the... Um, the jacket... Couldn't have done any better. Well, I could have, but... I think I did a good job. I don't know about you guys. You guys can do yours any different, but I still have to figure out how to make this non-washable, but we'll just leave it at that, guys. So, uh, I regret what I said earlier because this is actually, I love this already. It's going to be my most played with figure for sure. As a matter of fact, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to call up my dad. I'm going to be like, hey, dad, you got to see this. I'm going to, he don't got an iPhone, so I got to Skype him, but hey, eh, who cares? Um, I'll still get to see him. And Dad, I know you're watching this. I know it. He's probably not. But if you are, Dad, and you've made it through this whole video, drop down in the comments. Hi! Just like that. Hi! Exclamation point. If you've watched this video. Only you, Dad. Okay. So, get at it, Dad. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I helped you with your custom um, John Moxley. I mean, I didn't really do step-by-step, -step, per se, but I did show you what figures I used and what I used to make this figure, basically. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Unlimited action. Oh!